I'm Max Sterling. Welcome to LARPgasm. So finally, Dystopia Rising is starting a game near me. Previously, I would have had to drive like four hours to get to one of their games, but now it's right in my city, super easy to go to. It's actually at a camp that I go to other LARPs at, so it is just phenomenal that they started this here and that it overlapped my other games, and it's going to be perfect for me to get to. It's like about a 30 minute drive now for me, so it's awesome. Uh, so, Having not played Dystopia Rising before, I'm going through the rule book and everything, trying to pick, you know, strain and all this stuff. Well, I found one strain that I think will fit great for my area. Where I live, uh, sports are a huge thing. The people here are all fanatics, and the sports players are just regarded as deities, uh, more so than celebrities. And it's just ridiculous. I mean, a lot of towns have, you know, their sports teams and they support them and stuff, but where I'm at is fucking insane. Okay, bottom line. Now, for me, I'm not a sports person. Okay. <laughs> I've never even owned a jersey or really even watched a game. I could give a shit less about professional sports. So, this is a severe departure for me. Uh, but, what I'm going to do is put together a costume that is completely sports related uh, and I believe would completely fit this area so I'm going to take that Yorker strain concept and I'm going to add my local flavor to it and uh, we're going to have an awesome costume when it's all done so I went out and because I didn't own anything I tried to scrounge and salvage to get people to give me stuff but nobody really wanted to part with any of their stuff so I had to go out and buy you know brand new jerseys and uh, you know it almost hurts me you know, even though I don't care for sports, it almost hurts me to destroy brand new jerseys because they're so fucking expensive. But I got to go out and buy a couple jerseys, got myself some football pads, I got myself a helmet, a uh, terrible towel, got some black and gold fabric, got some t-shirts and stuff for the local teams, uh, baseball cap, just all kinds of stuff. And my plan is to destroy and distress this stuff, uh, weather it and age it, and uh, just put it together as a really kick-ass costume and a really kick-ass concept. Got to make some weapons too, and I'm under a serious time crunch because this game starts very soon. And uh, I really got to get this stuff done. So, this is going to be me getting my Yorker build ready uh, for Dystopia Rising, and uh, I hope you enjoy, and uh, I hope you enjoy the concept, and a lot of the stuff is going to be rehashes of other videos and stuff you've seen before, but I figure it'd still be fun to make a video since this is Dystopia Rising, you know, oriented or, you know, post-apocalyptic uh, type genre. So, without further ado, let's get started. So first things first, we got to age these jerseys. So, I still want the black and gold to be somewhat prominent and I think I'm gonna have a hard time aging this type of fabric I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to try to rely on bleach a lot to do some damage but I want these colors faded but I don't want them completely shit on um, because I want the concept to, to come through I really wish I had been able to get my hands on some like shitty old ones that people had for years and maybe you know threw on their yards and forgot about or something, I don't know, but I just could not find this stuff anywhere I looked. Um, so, we're gonna go ahead and age these up, and I'm gonna do that by giving them a coffee bath first. So, I'm gonna use instant coffee, just like I have in previous videos. Tea, just, it isn't dark enough. People love to use tea, tea ain't shit. If you're gonna try to stain this stuff, use coffee. Unless you're trying to get just a light effect. But most of the time when you're doing distressing, you ain't got time for light effects, man. Just go heavy. So get the coffee out. Instant coffee, like value time, the cheapest shit you can buy. Don't get the expensive stuff. And then just throw this in a tub and let it sit for a couple hours or overnight. Uh, and that's exactly what I'm going to do right now. And when it's all done, all these nice, beautiful, bright whites are going to look probably more like this. And this yellow should hopefully stain um, all these little badges and patches and little insignias and stuff on here are going to be all jacked up but you know that's what we're looking for so here we go so since i have to do some immersion on those jerseys and stuff i just took basically everything i had laying around that i thought might you know need some wastelandification here and threw it in this bin and then that way i can just have a whole 
ton of pieces going at once. So I have a ton of shirts in there, hats, just all kinds of random stuff that I felt needed to be, you know, aged. So <clears throat> if you have an empty kitty litter bin or an empty detergent bin or something, perfect way to do it. Mix the coffee all up, hot water or tea if you are trying to do just light coloring. Toss it all in there. You can use the handle to swish it around and agitate it if you want to. And then just leave that thing set. Now, like I said, a couple hours. I'll probably leave it sit overnight. And then I'll show you what everything looks like when it comes out and goes through the wash once. When I wash it, just water, no detergent. So, my goal today is to finish off the costume stuff with the aging portion. Now, the distressing will come later. I really need to get this stuff aged. I'm running out of time before this uh, event that I'm going to. So, the coffee worked well on some of these fabrics. It certainly darkened up these whites a little bit, but not nearly enough. So, what I'm gonna do is I have a spray bottle. I'm gonna mix about a quarter bottle of bleach with the rest of tap water, and then we'll take this outside and we'll spray it. Now, ideally, I would have a sunny day for this, but I'm gonna have to work with what I have outside. So I'm just gonna lay it down. I'm gonna give it a you know fine spray, keep all the bleach on the clothing. I'm gonna put down uh, you know something underneath it so I don't have to worry about getting bleach all over the place. And then I'm gonna let it sit for a little while, bring it in and wash it. Now that should turn these blacks into brown and hopefully give me a somewhat uniform sort of look. I'm gonna try to keep off the logos uh, if I can because I have other ideas for those, but that's what we're gonna do. So a little bit of bleach and water in a spray bottle. And that's what we're gonna do right now. So I couldn't get this jersey to fade. Uh, apparently, the fabric just ain't having it. So I tried everything from gasoline, paint thinner, bleach, uh, color remover, just nothing worked. So in the apocalypse, jerseys are gonna be around and they're gonna be still looking good. So uh, jerseys and blue jeans. Uh, this is part of the costume I'm wearing. This was black, it actually faded real well and already has a sort of uh, like distressed sort of look to it. So it's a really good uh, base for me. I'm gonna do some other stuff to it, but I'm gonna wear it while I do some spray paint. So instead of removing color from this, what I decided to do was just try to add. So all this stuff on here that looks like dried blood, what that is, is actually wood stain. So I took wood stain, I put it in my hand, I smeared it on there. Now it's spread out a little bit, but that's fine. So we're gonna go ahead and set this out. And then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna spray paint it. Uh, I looked into it, contacted the manufacturer, and they say that spray paint will hold on clothes. When I make something, I want something I can wash. I want something that's not going to come apart on me over time. I wanna make this once and not have to worry about it. I don't wanna use paint that's gonna come off and I have to redo it every event. I just wanna do it and have it done, throw it in the wash when I come home, pull it out, and have it ready for the next event. And all my projects I do with the clothing, that's what we're shooting for. So I'm not gonna be you know, fucking epoxying dirt and sand and shit to this clothing. I want to be able to wash it. You know, that's great if you're doing a photo shoot, a one-time thing, but I'm not trying to walk around like a goddamn dirt bag covered in mud and shit. And you shouldn't really either. So let's go ahead and spray paint this. So now the trick is when you're doing this to not get on heavy. You don't want it to look like it was spray painted. So you're gonna hold it a little bit further away than normal and just sort of let it fall onto it. With the light color, you're gonna be even more uh, careful not to get too much on there. We're just trying to make it look like there's dirt adhered to it. And uh, if you do it right, it should come out pretty good. I took the time to pay special attention around the neck area. Try to get too much on your neck. You don't want that shit rubbing off on you. All right, so this spray paint combined with the deeper stains of the wood stain, I think this is looking really good. I'm gonna probably try to patch some little areas up, maybe put some patches on here. But really, this outer layer, is pretty much looking good and looking done. 
Um, now, the best part about you know post-apocalyptic dystopian stuff is the more you play, the longer you wear the same costume, the more jacked up it's going to get. So it might look good that first event, but after two or three years of gameplay, it's going to look awesome. Okay, especially if you're not sweating a lot, you don't have to wash it too much. It's going to get all that immersion. Fall down a few times. Get grass stains ground into it. You know, all that good stuff because it all adds to the costume. So I got my outer layer done now. I'm going to go ahead and work on my other layer. So this will be something I wear basically when I take that off. But this still has a ways to go. Probably not going to spray paint it, but I'm definitely going to get some dye action going on it. Because uh, when I bleached it out, it, it bleached very quickly. It took a little bit more out than I wanted it to. So we're going to add a little bit back into it. And uh, then i got to work on my pants. But the pants will be the same thing. And then, of course, i got to work on the armor. So I have a lot to do in a few weeks. So I better get going here. Let me get shredded on this thing. So this is kind of where I'm at on my jersey I've been working on. As I may have mentioned, you know, I couldn't get the color out of it, so I just added on top of it, and I think it came out pretty good. So, at least for now, go and have a look. You know, as I play, and it gets dirty and more immersed, it'll look better, but for right now, this is what I got. I'm sure the video probably doesn't do it justice. It's actually looks a lot worse than it really is. Um, most of it was done with spray paint, uh, wood stain, and uh, yeah, some fake uh, vampire blood that I had left over from Halloween. So that's what we're dealing with. I've actually run this through the washer twice, uh, once with no soap and once with soap and this is what's stuck. So considering this has been through the wash and it still looks this good, I would say that this is a success. I'm not going to go any further with this for right now. I'm gonna consider that a completed item. Also, I got the game coming up real soon. I need to get to work on this armor. So uh, as always, adventure on. I'm Max Sterling and this is my channel. I work here with my old man and my son, Big Hoss. Everything in here has a story and a price. One thing I've learned after 21 years is that you never know what is going to come through that door.